Hey everybody, my name is Handy Man here, and it's a beautiful day. Well, actually, it was beautiful. a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day in Grand Junction. It's now a beautiful night in Grand Junction, Colorado. Um, it's what, like 40 degrees out there? It's starting to cool off. It was nighttime, but it was a beautiful day today. And so we do. We're doing one little projects here that we're trying to do here at our own house, my own house here. And so let me show you what we got going on here. So this is what we have before. Now these nice straight bar curtain rods as you can see right here and they work great you know boom 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 but the problem we have is it goes up against the wall here and we have this curtain still no matter what we do tucking it back in there it's right in front of our active door so when you're going in and out you're catching this curtain all the time it's right in the way even getting it pushed back here it still just seems to always get in the way so we came up with a plan and so Bear with me because this is a plan in action. We're actually building this and making it happen today, trying to figure it all out, what we're doing ourselves. But here's our new curtain rod. And I'll hold it up here for you to see. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. It's curved. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna be going up here against. It's gonna be painted black as well. Yeah, we're gonna paint this and all. I got galvanized pipe, guys. You can get the black iron pipe, which is most common. Most people see the most often. It's a little more expensive. Well, they're about the same price, but I got the galvanized because it's a little cleaner. If you've ever handled that black iron pipe, the minute you touch it like that, you got black all over everything. So this is a little bit cleaner, so I went with that. I'm going to get it all cleaned up here when I get done cutting it, fitting it, cutting it, fitting it again. This is the second run here. Now I think I got it all worked out now. And what's going to happen is it's going to go up right against here, right about there. And I got the marks over, already over here on this side of the wall, so I know where it's going. It's going to go just like that. Can you guys see that? I don't know if they can see it over my head or not. <laughs> you might want to come in a little closer. And the plan is, if I can hold this up with one hand, yes I can, is the curtains it's are going to be able to... It's the way it's supposed to be. It's like up on one side. And yeah, it's a little crooked. It's not fastened. We're going to fasten it here in a second. <clears throat> it's slide on the wall, as you can see. I'll touch up my wall now. But the curtains are going to slide around and park over here. Away from the door, out of the way. So, let's so the wind won't blow them when we have the door open. Mm -hmm. Or pull them in. Yeah. They'll keep it from being such a mess. Yes. They're always in the way. So let's go ahead and start. We love the here. curtains at night, but... So let's go ahead and start here. So on this side of the wall, I just have sheetrock. I don't have anything to anchor to. This side I have the trim right here where the original was mounted. So I'm just gonna mount it right back up there. So we're gonna go ahead and use some ties on this side over here. Guys, these are some ties that I use. I've been a big fan of butterfly ties. If you all know what those ones are, the ones that kind of, they flip open like that when you stick them through the hole. But this style is new. Uh, well, it's not that new. It's been around for a long time, but I've just started using it myself. And I love them a lot because you drill your hole, you slide this through, you push that straight, you pull this back up against your wall. And this little piece right here, as you can see, it slides. It's like zip ties right here. You zip it all the way down, and you just cut off your excess. And then this stays in place, whether you have the bolt in it or not, which is great if you have a product that you need to take up and down all the time. Or like this one where I just want to be able to put these in and then slide the bolt and be done with it. So let's go ahead and get started here. Oh, here's the brand right here. Toggler. And I think all the big major hardware stores have these pretty much. So, and they have different styles. I'm gonna start using these ones a lot on a lot of projects now. So we're gonna go ahead and get this hole drilled here though. Are you gonna tell them how you bent the iron? Oh yeah, yeah. So, let me get these two holes drilled really quick. So I got three quarter inch uh, galvanized iron pipe and I have a pipe bender and I thought oh yeah I'll bend it with that. Well I got home, got my pipe bender out and it says won't bend three quarter inch cast iron pipe or uh, not cast iron, uh, galvanized pipe. So what I ended up doing was, uh, guys this is where you got to get ingenious here. So I went out to my trailer and it has steak pockets in there. And I just slid this down in there, and you can see where I put my first mark right there. And I just got on it, started pulling a little bit, slid down, pulled another one, came up here, bent another one, and just kept doing that until I finally got the 90 that I wanted. 
Now you're really thinking, well, I don't have a trailer to stay. Fuck it. Got a, you got a um, chain link fence. Go to the corner, take the cap off. You can stick it down in there and start banging it the same way. Same thing. Just anything that you can get this part down into something and get yourself some leverage and start bending it. Be ingenious about that. You know what I mean? So that's what I did to get that bent. Looks pretty decent, actually. Turned out really nice. So I did that to get that bit. And then after I got it bent, because I'm duplicating it on the other side, I knew where this mark was. So I measured over here to that. And I marked it on the other pipe. So I have two marks on the other pipe now. And I'll keep my bend inside those two marks. So that's how I'm gonna get the duplicate bin on the other one. And like we said, we're gonna paint the black, so. Yeah, we're this gonna is paint. Just, we're just gonna put it up and see how well this, it works. This is the, yeah, this is the test bit here. <clears throat> Let's see if I got it right or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my anchors in first here. Like I said, we just started coming up with this plan yesterday. So we're <laughs> making this up as we go. This is one of those things, guys, where this is a DIY project on the go. So, we're not even sure how it's gonna turn out, but I think it's gonna actually turn out really cool. We just came up with the idea yesterday because we were trying to figure something out for the curtains. Because we love having the curtains at night, like we said, but during the day, it's sort of a pain. Look at that, that is great. Anchors in place. This stuff here. This one to lock in place, there you go. Look at that. Done. So we're gonna head and snip off the excess here. Boom. I like how you can do any size wall with them. Oh yeah, you can do a really thick wall with these things. I mean, zip tie starts way back here, so you can zip it mm -hmm. right there. You can have a wall that thick. So you can use them on block walls. That looks great, look you guys. Okay, so now Ooh, our wall is dirty. <laughs> well, that's from you <laughs> test fitting it like four or five times, and I'll tell you what, this is one of those moments where I wish I had a second hand like Dustin right now today, because it'd be great to have one guy down here while I'm over here, but I'm gonna attempt to do this on my own. I used to do everything on my own. I should be used to this, right? <laughs> Getting spoiled having help. So here we go. Okay, so there's the design. So I'm gonna get up here. Try to balance this piece there. I can try to hold it while I okay. also do the <laughs> camera. <laughs> yeah, multitasking here we are. There. <laughs> okay. I guess screw in here. Okay. This will be cute in black. Yeah. I guess you can you you can really paint it any color, right? Oh yeah, we could paint it white again like the old ones were if you want to. If you if you like that look, we could definitely go white. Okay, there's that. You have a hold of it still? Yeah. Good job. Keep holding. You're doing great. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws in a little bit tighter. Okay, I'm gonna switch places with you. Okay, got it. You can now move away. Okay. Sorry, people. Yeah. I'm trying to do two things at once. Wish I brought the pipe in and ran in with me, but I did not. The pipe what? Pipe wrench. So I'm gonna have to do some straightening, but we can go ahead. And, oh, the screws are in this pocket. <laughs> Never fails. I always put the screws in the wrong pocket. I think pocket. I'm gonna really love this. I think it'll work out nicely once we get it fit <laughs> I think here. This was a great idea. Yeah. I think this would even hold heavier curtains. Yeah, and you could use a lighter pipe too if you want to. This is three quarter. And the reason why I went with the I'm sorry, I'm talking about a screw in my mouth. The reason I went with the three quarter inch pipe is because it's kind of about the same size as the original curtain rod over there. Yeah, can you guys see that? Yeah, and so I kind of wanted to duplicate that and see it bent it up now. So this is where, excuse me one second while I go get <laughs> that tool up here. 
He's running. Run, mighty man, run. Hey, Laura. I heard you guys were freezing in Missouri. You may need one of these if you're doing a project like this. Or a big, big pair of channel lock pliers. Okay, now why are you using these? Because you can get a good grip on the pipe. And I am going to twist this. So it goes down. See? So it gets to the right spot. I think that's it. I think that is it. This is going to be so Hey, that looks painful. pretty darn good. Let's see here. Look at that. Look at that. I need a little tuning over here. But that piece is sitting flat against the wall. This piece needs a little bit of work, but it's looking really good. This does not look bad, guys. I know. It really will be cute when I, it's in yeah. black. Yeah. Or white, or whatever color you guys want. Well, you know, you could do the, you could do white. I thought about taking these off, too. Look at this. So, these are just held in, guys. With these little plastic pieces. Right here. See? You could almost pull those out. Put it, insert them in. <laughs> insert them in over here and put those back on it. Oh, yeah. that look. I, li I like the other look better. This honestly. better? Yeah. 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 Just I think it's the cap. style that goes with the pipe. So, mm -hmm. but I mean, you can get really creative. You could put these yeah, back on, technically. Yeah, they could put the finials back on. Yeah, they could put them back on. But look how cool is that? Yeah. That now looks the really curtains. Good. Yeah, you want to try to see right if you can get side on it? Down right there. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. I mean, they're not going to be curtains that you can move constantly. Well, you're you know, not going like, to take, take them off back the down. rod. That's what I'm no, saying. No. But you can move them against the wall all the time, which is great. Let's see about this here. <laughs> <coughs> okay, let me put this out of the way. I love this idea. Like, hey guys, I don't normally use my customer's dining room table for a work <laughs> shelf. He but just uses ours. I'm at home, so <laughs> I get to get away with Look, it. Look, these are from Pure One. Aren't they cute? Mini <laughs> man's not impressed. I had to carry them. <laughs> <laughs> They're heavy. Nah, they weren't that bad, actually. Okay, so you only want to do this once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you want to finish you it. the curtains on. But t this is one of those deals, honestly, where it, you, you really have to kind of Oops. make a mess to house. do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Make sure they're on the right side. Now how do we do this? You use the flap in the back. So I was trying to figure you it out. You want to start with, yeah, that side. And start right here. Was that what I took off of there? Yeah, right there. I think it was. I thought I took off something bigger. You can either use the rod right here, I mean the pocket right here, uh -huh, or you can see. use these. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta explain it too. Uh, do not hang curtains, as you can tell. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, okay. You know what's gonna have to happen? Mighty man, you keep getting in the way of the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, Kenya. <laughs> I'll come around here. <laughs> I'm gonna take this piece off. Yeah, you will. Yep. Okay. You gotta do this before. Well, you after you paint it. it. <laughs> I, well, you know, I would suggest that you hang, get it all fitted, have your holes made, then take it apart, slide your curtains on, and be done with it. Can yeah. you hand me the pipe wrench, please? Okay. <laughs> Just as I can. Like I said, guys, this is a work in progress here. We are making this up as we go. Literally, I just built okay. this thing like 20 minutes ago before Sorry. we got on camera. It's making you guys sick. <laughs> you know, I didn't get that, the whole moving the camera thing around until I was watching something that was actually I know, moving. it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'm trying I, to keep it steady, but I get that now. it's not working very well. Yeah, I get that whole thing now. You got to keep that camera steady. Okay, so you want to put the curtains on before? Well, I guess if you're building it, you gotta get it all tested, and then take it all apart again. Mm -hmm. But it's worth it because <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. When we're done, I'm not taking these down ever again. <laughs> we won't need to though. I hope not. Unless we change curtains, which I can't see changing curtains anytime soon. Our little. That little floor vacuum cleaning guy will probably come around, and grab one, and rip it all to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're putting the curtains on. This is trial run. 
one here with the curtains. This is just so you guys can see. We're actually going to paint it black. Yeah, like we're going to take it all back down again. So this is just how you can see how it looks. Yeah. You can see if it actually works or not. Yeah. This is the greatest idea ever if it works. <laughs> I sort of, that's, this is why I like the flaps better. Because it's easier to move. Was I supposed to use the flaps? Well, you can use whichever one you want, but. Which ones were we using before? I think I used the flaps. Yeah, I think I used the flaps. It's okay. okay we're this just, is just demoing trial it, so. This is trial run. When we put the curtains up permanent, we'll do it right. little section here. Okay, there you go. You got it. Good job. Okay. There's some string behind there, too. Okay. Yeah, I'm going so you guys can see better. I'm just going to tighten this down by hand. This is seriously, if this works, this is going to be great. Have a pipe thing. A pipe wrench? Yeah. Well, really big pair of pliers. Good luck. Uh, yeah. You can call Mighty Man. <laughs> call me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Now we put the screws back in here. I'm gonna get a bigger screw for this side too. Okay. You probably want some heavy duty screws. Yeah, these ones look like they're gonna pull through, and so. Not that, not that tickled with them, but we'll upgrade them. It's just a work in progress. <laughs> just so we can show you. Okay, okay so. so. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, so. This is what it looks like at night, except we have two panels on usually. So we're going to pull this around. Okay, oh, yeah. so during the day, this is what we're going to do. Go slide around. Hey, look at that. Just oh, yes. like that. Works great. And then we'll be able to kick that way over here out of the way. What and do you the other think? panel, I guess, will hang right here. Yeah. Look at so that. Look how much room it's going to leave around the door. It's not even going to close the door anymore. And so then. What do you have? You have French doors that you can actually use all the time. Yeah, so the and other panel... And my curtain's not going to blow in. Yeah, the other panel will probably hang right about there where it said doesn't yeah. have much room. You can take that away from the door. Yeah. That is great. an awesome idea, Mega Man. Mm-hmm. Amazing idea. I like it. This bump. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> all right, I think it's, it's like, going to work. That works great, you guys. All right. Paint it black, paint it red, paint it white, paint it whatever color you want. Yeah. You could leave it galvanized if you want to, too. Yeah, you could even do that. I am going to clean it, though. It needs a little yeah, a little thinner run across it and get some of that excess tooling off of there. But yeah, that's great, bad. though. Look at that, you guys. Hey, I'm so if you impressed. have French doors or if you have just <laughs> curtains that you want hung to the side, that's yeah. what you do. Yeah. Yeah, when I started this, I was like, yeah. But now... I, I, I know, I didn't know how well this was going to work, but I think I'm going to love it. Yeah, I think it's going to work out nicely. We'll get this all cleaned up tonight. Paint it. That. Tomorrow we'll get some pictures of it all. So done. much better than this. Yep. Because now you can use the doors and the curtains aren't blowing out in the wind. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's great. Yeah, because both these doors swing out on our house. Yeah. So this is going to work out great. Even now if gotta... they swung in, it'd still be a pain. Oh, yeah. With yeah. the thing. Yeah, if they're in the way. Yeah, if they swung or if in. You just, or, if, or if you just love well, the sunlight and you if, want a window. Yeah. That has all the sunlight. Mm-hmm. Well, if they swung in, this will still get them out of the way because they'll yeah. be behind the door and sit around the edge of I it, know. too. Isn't that great? Yeah. I'll tell you what's coming up here soon. I've got a customer that's got some outswing doors like this. I'm going to be putting a screen door on it. That's going to be an interesting one. Mm -hmm. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be those ones that are in the canisters that roll. Mm -hmm. It's going to come from both sides and click in the center. So mm -hmm. that's coming up here in the near future. So awesome. look for that coming up sometime here whenever okay. it gets in. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get back to this and get it all cleaned up. If you want to see this idea again, where do they go? MightyManHandyMan.com. It'll be posted there under the how-to section. Is that where it's mm -hmm. going to be? Okay. 
he'll be there. Uh, might, we'll probably post some pictures on Pinterest so you can click on that and go to the website mm -hmm. as well. And probably Instagram. We, yeah, we'll probably have a little Instagram video. And what and else? And Facebook, obviously. Facebook. Yeah. Maybe this will hit YouTube. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. We'll include. I think we'll do a little montage of a whole bunch of videos and put them all together to get a long YouTube video on there. How about that? <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, have a great evening. We'll talk to you all later. I'll probably see you tomorrow. I do a little post tomorrow. So have a great one. Bye.